This morning in higher learning, last weekend Major League Baseball saw its first perfect game of the season, but five Rhode Island students recently had their own perfect games, achieving perfect scores on the National Financial Capability Challenge. Here to talk about their success is Peter Kerwin from the Rhode Island Higher Education Assistance Authority. Good morning, Peter. Good morning, Ben. We actually discussed this a few weeks ago. Why don't you tell everybody at home again what the challenge actually was? Yeah, it was a, there was a big push by Treasury Secretary Geithner, uh, Education Secretary uh, Arnie Duncan, to get a lot of students behind this effort, take part in this across the country. The idea was they, there was a website where you go and register. Educators could take part. They could get lesson plans, share best practices, and then administer the exam to students. And it was about a half hour exam to kind of test your financial know-how. Yep. About 76,000 students took part nationally, 2,500 educators, and Rhode Island had five students score perfect scores nationally, which was great. That's pretty amazing. What were some of the numbers like? Yeah, well, uh, let me tell you the names of the kids, first off, were uh, David Tom. Give them their due. Give them yeah, their due. Yeah, let's give them their, the, give them their credit. And I have to have the cheat sheet because I want to get this right. David Tong, Matthew Leon, and Brendan Forte of Barrington High School. And then we had Kayvon Shakuri and Thomas Borges of Exeter West Greenwich High School. So congratulations for them doing a great job on it. Now, this is a great event because in high school, I don't remember really having anything to prep you for your financial future. Why is an event like this so important? Right. Well, the idea is I mean, you know, we've lived through a financial crisis, you know, the housing bubble meltdown, and it's really important to make sure that young people have the skills they need to make good financial decisions down the line. And the idea here is, you know, give, give the students a chance to test themselves and get a sense of where are we, you know, where do we stand. Yeah. And, you know, while we had good numbers here, we, we had our five students do this, and there were 500, uh, actually there were 524 students across the country who scored perfectly. But the, the, the average test grade nationally was 70%. So it shows we really Hopefully still have a, a way to go. Exactly. And I mean, it's, it's a good thing, though, to set a benchmark, to have this kind of test out there so people know, all right, here's where we have to do what we have to do to improve things, you know, and, and to really make an effort to get financial literacy programs into all of our schools. Beautiful. Thanks so much. As no always, problem. Peter. Guys, for more information on the College Bound Fund, just head over to the website, foxprovidence.com.